Hello, everybody. Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as the South Sudan. In this episode, we continue our push into Sudanese territory. Um, I'm actually going to put move in some of our infantry into this area down here, possibly. Um, though I realize that if I take here and here, their supply is going to get cut. Though they keep pushing to try and retake this town over here. So, I'm contemplating just positioning troops in such a way that they can attack us. If I withdraw here, they attack in this way, they get attacked by three sides. Here, they get attacked by two. If they're smart, they would kind of come from behind a little bit. Uh, fortunately, we did lose our AWAC. We... Don't have enough air, you know, aircraft right now to really do much. Oh, there we go. We have our first fighter jet is now good to go. I'm also going to move up one of our attack choppers. Have them come back home. So far, so good for this. I'm waiting for them to push again. But it doesn't look like they are. A lot of shortages for a lot of stuff, but... Okay, those have been sitting at six days and four days for a while. Um... Yeah, I'm actually not going to be too worried right now. I was going to say I'm really, really not me, but I'm not going to worry too much about my economy. Though normally I do. I want instead... To get some offensive measures pushed up here, so. Or offensive units, I should say. Trying to contemplate. There we Oh, come on. There we go. Brazil declared war in Argentina. We're going to support that. Uh, right now, our supply should be linking up now. Once the supply here has been linked... Between these two, we're going to push west, capture these territories, and maybe push along this road to capture these two towns. Well, you want to do fighter on fighter, eh? Uh, Vietnamese want more gas, and uh, we're out of our industrial goods. No big deal. Our supply is pushing out. I am being rather happy about that. One of our main battle tanks is good to go. I'm going to order it to uh, this group here. This Amex is going to go... To repair itself, it should go to this base up here. Perfect. I'm going to tell them both to prepare themselves. And we have complete linked up here. So now what I could theoretically do is push this way, capture this base and this barracks, and that'll help our supply in this area, but that's going to push 
them to start attacking a little bit more. So I think I'm going to capture these two parts, these two towns first. So I'm going to want these guys a little closer together. Uh, Pakistan and Cyprus have signed a peace treaty. And Vietnam wants more oil. I'm just going to move them up along the railroad here. So you can see our supply. It's kind of getting a little thin. Which means it's time for more supply trucks to sneak in for support. What you guys are going to hold shift, tell them all to push forward to that location there. There's 75% supply. So we're just going to wait. You can already see it starting to filter in through the through the railroad. They're at 77%. I can actually click one of them and click this button and see what the supply is. So right now, supply is zero. But supply is starting to kick in right there. 4% there. So we're getting there with supply for these guys. We're going to move up. The Amex is going to stay there. That's right, I'm calling them Amexes, even though they're Amex. But, why not? I'm going to pause real quick here. There we go. I'm going to order these guys to stop. These guys are going to come south. No, we didn't get them fast enough. Okay, no big deal. We're going to keep these units in this spot here. They want to keep cutting off our supply. That's what they're trying to do. And to be honest with you, I don't blame them. It's a good idea. You can already see our supplies are already starting to kick in a lot better over here. We're not ownership. We want loyalty and turn off supply real quick. So we've already recaptured a lot of the territory we've lost down here from supply loss. So we're going to push in on this town now. I'm also worried about losing this here. Because I'm going to just bring this piranha back. And recapture that territory. I'm also going to bring up... These two tanks... And one infantry. France is not buying as much oil as they once did. Bring them up that way. Bring these guys up as well. This AMX is going to move here. This one's going to go there. And this one is going to go repair. I'm going to pause. Well, since you guys are right there. Come on. Can I get some? Just two of these zero hawks, please. If I can get UAVs up, that'll give me a good, well, line of sight. With good LOS, we can pretty much engage these guys, these little bastards, a lot faster. Okay, they keep oh, 
just let's try that. Fingers crossed. Obviously, this one's coming this way. So I'm going to move this infantry unit up like so. There he is. Sink this one back one. Come on. There we go, we've engaged. And destroyed. I want to see where that aircraft was going. There we go. Ran out of fuel. Pakistan has fallen. Vietnam still wants to buy more fuel. We're going to order those aircraft to go repair. In the meantime, our attack choppers are going to both go that way. Is that a Timberwolf there? It was. Perfect. Both the jack choppers are now coming down this way. We know exactly where this thing's going. We're in supply, they're not, which is good. I think there might be another one pushing this way. Nope. Oh, yeah, there was, he just turned around. Ruse ceases to exist. Uh, Colombia has declared war on Ghana. And France has landed a man on the moon. Congratulations, France. On July 18th, 2024, the French have landed someone on the moon. Impressive, impressive. They're going to keep trying to push here, aren't they, little bastards? They're not going to give me respite.
Oh, this might not be good. This might not be good. Get those guys back in a supply. As long as those guys are in supply, we're 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 happy. These guys in their hands should be able to take this town on their own. Do you want to hold them up here? Those guys are going there. I'm going to bring up a supply truck. Vietnamese want to buy petroleum. Only 4%. We're going to up the speed a little bit. We are already doing way better than we did before. The lab's going there. Seven two point four unemployment. 35.3 inflation, which isn't too bad. French still haven't pushed that far into Sedan yet, which is making me just shake my head here. Move these guys up and let them just engage a little bit. When they get down to 75%, I'm going to withdraw. Withdraw. I'm going to bring in the Typhoon. Have it do a little bombing. Oh, that's not going to be good because they have a lot of A. Uh, 100% supply again. A lot of garrison units. I think we might luck it. We might be able to take this, uh, take over Nayala. With little... Let's, withdraw, let's pull back a little bit here. They don't have the ability to probably defend themselves now. So we'll bring in the Typhoons. And the Attack Choppers. We'll withdraw that Moeg. Or no, that was a MX. Yeah, it was an MX. Perfect. So the combined attack helicopters and uh, bomb fighter bombers. We're doing really good. Hold up, push in again. Bring all our aircraft just to be on the safe side. Okay, tell all the aircraft to go repair themselves.
That was a good one for the... So obviously it's coming from that airbase there. I'm not too worried. They'll be able to protect themselves. We'll get the Typhoon. Should be able to do some good damage to this guy before he gets out of here. Don't move those guys over there. Uh, Colombia has declared war on Chile. We're going to support that. Uh, that was their attack on that base. P uh, Vietnam wants to buy more gas. And there we go. So that is this episode where we pushed significantly into so or, uh, into uh, this, uh, Sudan. Uh, we are very close. Very, very, very close to being able to uh, do some some big time pushes, um, a lot of this obviously is reserve units. I'm gonna nickname them. Um, we've been able to fend off every attack the Sudanese military has thrown at us. Um, right now, their government, their military is sitting at uh, they're sitting at oh Jesus Christ, they've got even more troops now. Yes, we got theoretically they've for every one unit we have, they have three. So, we've also, though, taken a significant amount of territory militarily than they have. Um, they have not. Um, that's staffing as well, right? So, that could be tr that could be people working at this airbase, this barracks, another airbase there. Uh, what else do they have? Yeah, they have an entire, two big facilities over here. They have, wow, they have this. This is big time. I think it's a research station and what is this this is the intelligence academy wow if we get when we get these guys i'm hoping we get their capital as well that's going to give us a significant you know good uh, good little bump there for stuff this hydroponic this uh, hydro dam down there will be pretty good uh, overall i'm going to build up some more well we could probably buy some industrial goods i mean we got ninth wait we have nine thousand. we only need Oh, we're short on uranium. That's what the big deal is. Okay. Well, we'll continue on our push and our, basically our, our run to controlling the south of all of Africa. See you next time. Bye-bye.